Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now in today's video we have something absolutely mind boggling. I just can't believe how this person did it. And that is of course the Dawn Star Bullet Train. Yes, this is a giant bullet train that takes you literally halfway around this planet. And it's just so cool how it's done. I really, really cannot get over how well this is done. So what is the actual track it's going on? I know that's what you're thinking because that was the first thing I thought of because there's no mods involved and it's blast door edges. Yes, they actually use blast door's edges which is the first time I've ever seen these types of blocks being used and they put these little wheels on there which go along the little edge and then they have a second train which goes underneath it to weigh down the wheels so it stays connected to the blast door edges as it goes along. So before we take a look at the train, let's take a look at the station itself. So we've got some solar panels up here to power it all up. And if I come walking around here, you know, I will say there are a few hiccups here and there in the frame rate because this is a very, very unstable mod for my system. So up here, we have like a little control tower thing. How awesome is this? Open the door, in we go. And you can have like a little conductor sitting on there who can manually control the trains from here if you so wished. I originally thought this was like a little place for like people to wait, like a waiting station. But no, it's literally a conductor's area. So let's now head all the way down and this is the lovely train. Now we have one area for people to go in at the front and we have this little secret storage area. Watch this, this is so cool. So if I activate that, it opens up. Look at that, that's so cool. I've, I've never, I know it's so simple, but it's just so cool how it works. And then you like get your little car in here, get a small vehicle in here, get your friends and stuff in here. It's so good. Now I'm just gonna drop this back down. There we go. The other little trailers behind here are all just like storage containers and reactors and stuff. But below here, we have even more containers and reactors and stuff. Because this thing is literally built for moving an entire base from one area to another. It can like contain a lot and the station is fully activated so it can like withdraw everything out of the containers and all that. So if I go all the way over here, round, let's just go down this. I know I'm making a little bit of a hash out of going down here. But on the bottom station down here we have the exact same container and we have the cockpit. So this is what we have. We have like the little passengers go on top and you drive it down at the bottom. So let's take a look at the passengers area. One thing I will mention is if you do stand here without your jetpack, it tends to wobble a bit like you're permanently cold or something. But here we have the actual medical place for you to spawn on. And if we come through here, we have a little door that can open. Of course, double doors for the airlocks. And this is where the people sit. Look at this. It's so good. So if you like sit here, you can like fear for your life because it looks like you're going to crash into that mountain, but you are perfectly safe. So you and your friends can just sit on here while someone else down there drives the train. It's all really good. So in here, we have like the little driver's cockpit. We do have like a few little places in here, like down here, we have like a little center for you to go over. Around here, we have like the entrance to the cockpit, but I am going to back away from that for just a second and activate my... um jetpack so I don't wobble around but up here we have like a little access hatch you can't really walk up there but you can jetpack up here but it lets you get to the thrusters and batteries so you can get along all nice so like if you need to repair perhaps there was an accident you could easily do that so here we are in the cockpit itself we have a little sign which I presume is the creator Ravrik and we have some other useful things so there's not much in here of course there's like lots of little blocks here but let's sit in the chair and we have like the little meets for the second shown on here, the time of day, we got the name of the train, we got like the cargo, the batteries, the ship mass, it's all there. And if I bring up the actual menu itself, let's take a look. So we've got thrusters to go forwards, that's fairly obvious, thrusters go backwards. The rotors are the brakes, that's if you need to like slow down. Autopilot will like control everything, so once you put the thrusters on, it will control everything so you get A to B without any problems. And of course we got the headlights which are always needed so let's get going shall we let's thrust her up brakes off and here we go it is very wobbly and sadly i cannot go into third person but this is so cool isn't it it's just so novel i mean i have seen mods like the little um rail cart mods and all that but this is just so good 
So here we go, the battery is not going down. We're going at 50 meters a second. We are speeding up. I believe this thing tops out at around about 75, maybe 90 meters a second. So we're going through the tunnel. It's getting very dark in here, so let's turn on the lights. Otherwise, it's going to get very spooky. Now we are wobbling and shuffling, but we are still connected to the blast door edges. I do believe that is a turn coming up. So that's going to be quite interesting to see what happens. Oh my god. I know I'm talking a lot, I'm talking a lot because I'm really excited about this whole thing, but when you go past one of those little poles, which is like the support for the track, you can hear this k-clunk, k-clunk sound. So let's listen. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah, I know it's like a blonk sound of the blocks changing, but it's close enough, isn't it? It's close enough. So we're still doing 75 meters a second here. This is so cool, just going through the desert landscape. I know the frame rate is struggling a lot because there is a lot for this thing to load. I mean, I could have removed some of the trailers at the back, but I didn't really want to. But here we go. Across the Mars plates. This is so I can't tell you how cool this is. I know I keep saying that, but it is absolutely ingenious. So let's turn on the thrusters. Let's go nice and fast around here. We don't need to slow down. Who needs autopilot? Let's turn off autopilot. I can do this myself. This is so cool. I really want to go in third person side, but it won't let me. So here we go. We're going nice and fast now. I do believe there is a station on the other end, but I hope it's not built like the station we left. Because other... Uh oh, is that a corner? Autopilot, please. Autopilot. Autopilot. Let's turn that off. Actually, can that say... Yeah, there's an ice station over there, which I believe is the end point. I was just hoping that there's an actual end block. Otherwise, we're going to be going straight off the edge. And that's a corner. How do they do corners with blast door edges? I need to get a good look at this, but I don't want to get out. Let's just... I think I might be able to see it. So here we're going. We're going around the corner. So it's like slight adjustments. That's so cool. And we're tipping. Oh, no. Please say we're not tipping. Are we really... Is this it? Is this it? Is this the end? We are really over. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm still... I'm still going. I'm still going. This is all good. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh dear god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. It just it just keeps coming. <sighs> I'm so sorry, guy. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm so sorry, guy who made this. Or girl. I don't know who you are, but I am so sorry. <laughs> Oh god, look at look at that's beautiful actually. Let's remove that. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh god. Wait, that survived. Is that the cockpit? Yeah, that's part of the cockpit. The cockpit survived. Yay, I would have survived. Yay. But look at that. Wow. Look how far the bits went. Look at they're still going even. This is insane! Look, are these wheels? Oh, the wheels are trying to escape! Oh, look at this guy go over here! Look at him, he's having a blast! He's having the time of his life! Be free, little wheel! Be free! Oh, he is just having fun. Look, he's gonna meet up with his friends! Oh, look, there's the other wheels! Is it still going? Look, there's another wheel in the distance. But this guy, he's really go for it. He might actually make the journey himself. Look at him go. <laughs> so here we are at the ice station. And I was expecting an actual, like, ice station in the ice. But no, it's just signaling that it is the edge of the Mars surface before it turns to endless snow. So the actual station itself, I think, is identical to the one over where we started at. I do believe it is. And it does look like, very scarily, that if we kept going and didn't crash, we would have died. 
So anyway, this is the Dawn Star Rocket Train. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was an absolute blast to play this, and it's just so cool. I know it's cheesy to say, but it really is a feat of engineering. So it's in the description below if you want to download it yourself. I will say if you do try it, um, perhaps turn off autopilot and try manually control yourself going around that corner at very slow speeds. Otherwise, you will go down like I did. But yeah, I'm still waiting to see that wheel in the distance just come rolling over here. Because he was going for it. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. And I'll be back with another video on Space Engineers where I'll destroy something. Something soon. Bye bye.